The 2024 is just starting, and we are all planning our next travel destinations. Here I share the most important changes in tourism in Istanbul as of 2024, from new countries added to the entry visa exemption list, new taxi fees, but most importantly, the new rules and entrance fee for Hagia Sophia. So if you're ready, let's get started. So let's start with the first one, and this is about money, the minimum wage in the country. So as of January of 2024, 20, the new minimum wage is 17,000 liras. Last year it was 11,400 liras, but this means also that as soon as they increase the minimum wage, all of the prices, foods, museums, transportation, groceries, everything will increase as well. I know the next one will be very useful for you because it is about the taxis. And yes, because I want you to, to, to travel safely in Istanbul, especially when you're using the taxis, because let's remember the taxi drivers, they try to take advantage not only of tourists, also of us as residents and Turkish citizens. So that is why I will share with you the new prices as of 2024. So for example, if you're taking a taxi in Istanbul, you have to keep in mind that as soon as you get into the taxi, the taxi meter will start from almost 25 Turkish Liras. The current price is exactly 24.55 Turkish Liras. So, and after that, each kilometer, you will have to pay exactly the amount of 17.62 Turkish Liras. And also there is one minimum amount of, of fee that you will have to pay if you take a taxi. So let's imagine that probably you, you took a taxi for only two kilometers and maybe the fee shown on the taxi meter is for 65 liras, let's imagine. So since it is lower than the minimum amount, you will have to pay 90 Turkish liras. So the minimum amount for each ride, it has to be 90 Turkish liras. So my tip it is that if you're not sure how much is it gonna be for the route that you have to take in the city, always, always tell them to turn on the taxi meter because the taxi meter is already uh, following these new regulations. So let's imagine that probably you, you want to take a taxi from Taksim Square to Sultanahmet Square or vice versa. It is around 8.5 kilometers by car or by taxi. So you don't, you shouldn't pay more than 230 Turkish Liras, only one trip. Also, if you want, you can always use these apps like Uber or B Taxi. Uber, many people keep asking, is Uber working in, in Istanbul? Is it illegal? Is it this? No, it is not illegal. It is, it is already operating legally in the country and you can use the Uber app. The only difference is that instead of, of a private car like the ones in the US or many other European countries, you will be sent a normal yellow taxi. So the Uber app will be working with the, uh, with the yellow taxis. And from the app, you can also have an approximate of how much do you have to pay for your exact route. The next one will be about the public transportation in the city. And yes, also the public transportation as of January of 2024, we had an increase. So instead of paying 15 Turkish Liras per person, now we are paying 18 Turkish Liras per person to use the buses, metro, the trams, and most of the ferry lines. Also this Marmaray, which is a train that, that goes under the Bosphorus and crosses from continent to continent, now it has a cost of 39.10 Turkish Liras per person. Also, if you want to learn about the Istanbul card and how to use the public transportation in the city, you can watch this other video because there I explain everything you have to know about the Istanbul card, which is the most important card that you have to use for the public transportation in the city. Another thing that you might find very interesting in the city is that you might find these very luxury cars, especially in the touristy areas like Sultanahmet Square and Taksim Square, and they are part of the police at the moment. So you might be questioning yourself if Istanbul has a lot of money or the government put so much money into the investment for these cars. No, actually it wasn't like that. It was just like some operation that the government did and they caught some people like money laundry and mafia and stuff like that. So they took all of the cars and they just put them uh, to make them part of their police and their forces. So now you will be able to see these very luxury cars in the touristy areas for the police. 
Another good thing is that also citizens of these, of any of these six countries like the United States, Canada, Saudi Arabia, and many others, please check the list, the list here on the screen. Now, Turkey has lifted the requirement of visa. So if you're visiting Turkey soon and, and if you're a citizen or hold a passport of any of these countries, now you can only enter with the passport. You don't have to get a visa to visit Turkey. And also some of the main museums and some of the major attractions in the city also increased their prices as of January of 2024. So for example, if you also want to visit Galata Tower, now you have to pay the amount of 650 liras per person. When it comes to Dolma Vacha Palace, now the full ticket for the place costs 1,050 Turkish liras and for Basilica Cistern is 600 Turkish liras. So as you can see, all of these places literally doubled the prices. The next important update will be about Top Kapi Palace. So if you want to visit this museum in 2024, now you have to keep in mind that the price is quite high. So for so now you have to pay 1,500 Turkish liras, which it is around $50 per person. But the only difference from last year is that this time you cannot choose the tickets of the areas that you want to visit. So for example, for 100 for 1500 Turkish liras you can visit the palace the harem and Hagia Irene you don't have any option as in the past to choose either the palace or the palace plus the harem or just the palace so now you have to buy the whole the whole ticket for the full place but the benefit here is that if you have the museum pass Turkey or the museum pass Istanbul this one is already included in that card I don't know about you, but I'll be very honest. I think that $50 per person to visit the palace is a little bit high. I don't, I don't recall visiting in the past, even in Europe, uh, palaces or places or museums for even more than 30 euros. So I don't know, let me know in comments below if right now in, in other cities that you have visited, if you have paid this much for a museum or a palace. But probably one of the most important changes of 2024 in Istanbul will be that if you want to visit the Hagia Sophia, now you have to pay a fee. If you want to visit Hagia Sophia, keep in mind that you have to pay 25 euros per person and children under 80 years old, they are free to enter. When it comes to the dress code to visit the place, you have to still follow the dress code as if you are visiting a mosque. Because let's remember, Hagia Sophia hasn't become a museum once again. Still, it remains as a mosque. The only difference is that you have to pay as a foreign tourist for an entrance fee. So in this case, women, we still need to cover our hair and dress modestly and the same for men. Another important thing is that there is an audio guide available at the ticket office but for this if you want to, to use it they will only provide you with the uh, with the little audio guide but they will not provide you with the headphones and um, actually you can get them but they will charge you 100 turkish liras with, which at the moment might be like four or five dollars per person so as a as a recommendation i will suggest that if you want to get that audio guide if you are not visiting Hagia sophia with a guide then bring your own headphones that way you will save 100 turkish liras also people with difficulties in going up the stairs or or even people uh, using a wheelchair is not accessible for you so in this case you have to you will only have access only to the first floor of the mosque you cannot really access the the gallery because it is impossible Let's remember also that many years ago when Hagia Sophia used to be a museum, we could enter using our Museum Pass Istanbul or Museum Pass Turkey. But right now it is not like that. So basically the Museum Passes are not accepted to visit Hagia Sophia as of January 15th of 2024. And there is another news that also for Turkish citizens and for us residents, there is no discount for us to enter the, the galleries. So basically we will have to pay the same amount as foreign tourists. This means 800 Turkish Liras. Now some of you might be wondering if finally we can visit uh, Hagia Sophia, the first floor, the second floor, that means every single corner of the place. Well, let me tell you that there is a bad news and it is not going to be like that. So you're going to be paying 25 euros per person just to visit the gallery, which it is on the second floor of the mosque. So us as foreign visitors, we cannot have access to the first floor 
only Turkish citizens and it is free to enter. But in, in this case, basically you will not be able to visit the first floor. Let's imagine that it was like before, uh, as like yesterday or two years ago that you could only visit the first floor, but you couldn't go to the gallery. So now is the opposite. So these were some of the most important updates that you tourists will be interested in for this 2024. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every week about Istanbul. See you next time. Bye bye.